Hi everyone, I'm Jason Jurtic and this is The Mobile Philosopher. In this video, we're going to see an even better and more efficient way of making dynamic dependent dropdown lists. The most important thing here is actually not the script itself, but rather the way of making named ranges. Here is the key. When you have your spreadsheet open, the first thing you need to do is make sure you make your named ranges in such a way that the top part here, as you can see in bold, is the name of the range. And as you can see, this AAAA, BBBB, CCCC is under the first column A, where we have these here, and the name of that range is going to be main. And then these by themselves then become names for the next ranges, as you can see here. And then these themselves pass to being names of the next ranges of these sub subgroups. So as long as you do this, then this will become fairly automatic. We're going to do the last two, but the same methodology is applied from the first to the last. Here we're going to open up where we have data and we're going to go to named ranges. And as you can see, I have the rest of them here. They turn green and when I go over them, but the idea is to grab almost the entire column so that if you add new possibilities here to the column, they will also be added automatically later on. So here we're going to go to add range and we're going to print CCD. And then we're going to go down here and we're going to put the pot that here. So this we have L. So we're going to just change this to L3 to L. And we're going to save that. And then we'll add the last one, which is CCE. And here we're going to put M3 to M. And this again, like I said before, is applied to all of the columns, making sure that the title that we have here represents everything under the title. You do not have to put these in colors. I just put them here for the sake of the video. All of this can be left in white because it doesn't affect the drop down list later on. So now that we have all of these set to go, then what you're going to do is the following. You're going to go back to the first sheet. And this is the last part that we need to do without the script, which is we're going to select column A, and then we're going to go to data, validation, and we're going to put this here. As you can see, you have options, okay? And what we need is a list from a range. And here we're going to put the word main because that was the first named range that we had. And then we're gonna leave these here as show warning and display in cell button to show list. And we're gonna press save. And as you can see, that has now applied the validation or the drop down list, if you so prefer, to column A. And so when I open this up, I can see these three here. And again, if in the future you decide to expand this system, all you do have to do is put uh, the next names in this column here and they will present themselves. For example, if I put these here, then they will present themselves here. Okay, but in this case, we need to get rid of this because this doesn't uh, apply because there is nothing that corresponds to D, 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 D. And now that we have this ready, now the spreadsheet is ready without the script. Now we can add the script to magically make the sub and sub subgroups appear here. And this is what's better than the last video that I made in that these will come out automatically. I do not have to do anything else. I don't need any more columns. So all you're going to do is basically, as we've done in other videos, you're going to open up the document that I have publicly shared under this video, which is going to be this script here. And then you're going to do the following. You're going to go back to your own spreadsheet. You're going to go into tools, script editor. You're going to title this. Press enter. Then we're going to go over here and copy this here. We're just going to grab everything. And we're going to move over here select everything and paste this here. And as soon as we're done pasting, we're going to save it. And now the nice thing about this is the only thing you need to change in 
this part here is when you're going to change the columns in which the dependent dynamic drop-down lists are going to present themselves. Meaning for here, we have this one, which is A, and this will be the equivalent to column one. This will be column two, this will be column three, et cetera, et cetera. So if you don't want them in these three columns, you can always put them in other columns as long as you change that part here. Let's make this bigger so you can see the script. Here it says equal column one, here it says equal column two. And you can have more than two, you, you can have more than one, just one subgroup or sub subgroups. You can put sub sub subgroups and et cetera, et cetera. All you have to do with that is just copy this part right here, this part alone. All you're going to do, if you need to have a sub sub subgroup or even more, all we're doing is going to copy that. We're gonna press enter here and then we're going to paste that again. It does not matter if this thing is out of place, you can leave it exactly like this, or you can bring it over and then you just put column three here or column 25, depending on where these columns are. And that's all you have to do in order to add or modify this script. Otherwise, we're gonna leave it exactly as it was. So we're gonna take this out and we're gonna leave it just like this. And again, so this is column A and this is column B. One is A, two is B. And that's it, everything else of this script, we're gonna leave exactly as it is. So we're going to save that again and make sure that the little red star there gets rid of itself. We're going to go back to its original size and we're going to run this guy. Now, as normal, when we run this, it's going to ask for authorization. So we're going to continue and we're going to press allow. As soon as that's allowed, we can just make sure and rerun it just in case the thing is being bothered by something. <clears throat> Excuse me. As you can see here, there might be some errors coming out. Don't worry about that. We're not going to worry about it. We're just going to make sure that everything is running. Okay. So now that we have everything running and we don't have any errors, as you can see on either of these, there's errors now. Obviously, this one was actually not supposed to be running because of the fact it was mine. But here, this one is now running. And if I go over here, we're going to select AAA. It's going to save, and as you can see, magically, the next one comes out. And then over here, the next one comes out, and we're working just fine. And we can do the next one down here, we can click C, and as you can see, that one's gonna come out, and I can start choosing these. And they come out automatically, and that's beautiful. And then if I go back up here, I can choose this guy, and change him to B. And then this is going to come out and say invalid content. And that's why is that? Because the script knows that this was supposed to be following BBB. And given the fact this is still A, when I drop this down, as you can see, they're Bs. And that will get rid of the right triangle. And then this one turns into a right triangle, indicating the same, because this one doesn't correspond to this guy now. So we're going to change him to this. And that will fix everything. And like I said, this will work anywhere you want in the spreadsheets. And the nice thing is that I have designed this in such a way that if you put this, if you need to put it on many sheets down here, you can add a sheet and it'll work the same. So let's say I wanna go over here, duplicate this guy, okay, copy the sheet. Now this is the active spreadsheet and it'll work the same. So I can go over here, click on A. This one I will change to A and this one will as well. So it applies to everything. So you don't need any extra columns. You don't need any type of timestamps. All of this will work automatically. It works very beautifully and it should solve the problem on a much more global scale of putting dynamic dependent dropdown lists into your spreadsheets. I hope this works for you. It should work given the fact it's so recent and we're in the new Google in the spreadsheets as you can see because we have the explore option here, the new explore option, which I'll make a video on later on. Everything is working perfectly fine here and should work for you. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And please, if at all possible, please subscribe so that I'm able to continue working on these things 